And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fan joining us around the world, live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time for the main event of the evening. Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with red trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida by way of Santiago de Cuba in Cuba. He weighed in at the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. His record stands at 26 wins, four losses with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist tonight making the first defense of his world title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the current reigning and defending WBA welterweight champion of the world. Introducing 54 Milagros, Jordani And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, really needing no introduction the world over. Wearing white trunks trimmed with flames. As the boxing senator, he is fighting out of and proudly representing the Serengani province in the Philippines. He weighed in at a trim and ready 146 pounds. As a true icon of boxing, his record stands at 62 wins, seven losses and two draws, with 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the four-time welterweight world champion and boxing's legendary and only eight-division champion of the world, introducing the one and the only Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. And our referee in charge now to give instructions, Russell Mora. Now peace, now peace. Trunks here are good. Trunks here are good. Anything below this belt line is a foul. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to remind you, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. God bless you, Bill. Touch up. An electric atmosphere here in Las Vegas. Manny Pacquiao, at 42 years of age, the senator from the Philippines. There is his wife, Jinky, watching intently as she watches her husband compete for the 72nd time. Will we see the old Manny Pacquiao, or at 42 years of age, could we see an old Manny Pacquiao? Your Dennis Ugas looking to shock the world, and we are underway here in Las Vegas. Ray Forrest ringside here at T-Mobile Arena. Immediately starting strong with the jab is your Dennis Ugas, but coming in with the lefts, immediately moving forward, is Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao, so explosive, quick, has dynamite in both hands. Freddie Roach made him a two-handed fighter to make his right hand destruct. There's a couple of lefts, and Pacquiao going to the body of Ugas. Back comes Pacquiao, but Ugas counters with the right. Pacquiao looking to swarm Ugas, but Ugas plants his feet and delivers a counter right hand, and we are three rounds in. Ugas just landed a right to the body of Pacquiao. Pacquiao looking to unload. to keep moving you see some bruising outside of the left eye of Manny Pacquiao earlier in the fight he had bruising underneath his right eye on we go to the fifth round this one is scheduled for 12 Manny Pacquiao has been away from the ring for 25 months Pacquiao total punches landed 
53 of 248 for a 21% connect percentage. Ugas, 54 of 131 with a 41%. There's a right hand. There's a right hand for Ugas. A very one-sided crowd, all in favor of Manny Pacquiao for the most part. And clash of heads, potentially. Thankfully, no blood. They touch gloves under a minute to go here in the fifth. Double jab for Pacquiao, partially blocked by Ugas. At this pace, this favors your Dennis Ugas because it is calculated and methodical. This is not the kind of fight that Manny Pacquiao, who likes to engage in fire fights, this tempo and pace favors Ugas more than anything. Because it's very strategic and deliberate. There's a right hand counter for Ugas. But Ugas being the naturally bigger man, there's Pacquiao who pounds away on the right glove of Ugas. Pacquiao unloading. Uga smiles at him and then he shook his head as to say, nope, nothing got through. There's a couple counter right hands by Ugas. Another counter right hand, but back comes Pacquiao. Pacquiao tr trying to end with a flurry and that ends the fifth. Much to the delight of this partisan Pacquiao crowd. And that was towards the end of the round and look at Ugas just stare down Manny Pacquiao. Both men locked in. The welterweight championship of the world on the line. Ray Flores here in Las Vegas. Your Dennis Ugas, the champion, got elevated after the WBA stripped Manny Pacquiao of his title. The one that he captured by defeating Keith Thurman back in July of 2019. The last time Pacquiao was in the ring 25 months ago. Jabs landed. Pacquiao 23 of 168 for a 14% connect percentage. Ugas 32 of 111 for a 29% connect percentage. Ugas has not been overwhelmed by the moment, and he's settling nicely. He's been very tactical in his offensive approach by using his jab and then letting his counter right hand go and also attacking the body of Pacquiao. Pacquiao has been able to dart in and out and is the one throwing more punches than that of Ugas, but he, it, he hasn't landed anything significant to Ugas which would make Ugas, or which would hurt Ugas, or be detrimental to Ugas moving forward in the fight. I think Manny's looking for a big shot to try to affect your Dennis Ugas. Now Pacquiao has a tight guard. He's trying to invite Ugas to him. So I think Pacquiao, he's like, instead of me attacking this guy, let me invite this guy to me and see if I can counter. So the strategies change here in the fight as you're seeing Pacquiao who's almost inviting Ugas to come forward. And now chance a let's go Manny here at T-Mobile Arena. High level excitement between two elite welterweights. There's a big right hand by Ugas and you heard that. Ugas got all of that, all a lot of leverage behind that shot. Under a minute to go here in the sixth. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas looks razor sharp tonight. Double jab for Ugas. Ugas was a sizable underdog coming into this fight. Manny Pacquiao was over a three to one favorite. But Ugas didn't pay attention to the odds, said it doesn't matter. None of that affects me. I know what I'm capable of. Couple of lefts by Pacquiao. Final moments of the sixth. Ugas coming forward. He tags Pacquiao with the counter right hand. And Pacquiao trying to lunge in and get something, and that ends the sixth. We are Pacquiao, and it's starting to trickle. There's a right to the body by Ugas, but Pacquiao responds with the counter left. Pacquiao is now seeking out and trying to find your Dennis Ugas. 
A cut underneath the right eye of Pacquiao. What a moment between Manny Pacquiao and your Dennis Ugas. Both men fighting at such a high level. A right hand by Ugas. Ugas fought the fight of his life. Manny Pacquiao still Manny Pacquiao. What a fight here in Las Vegas. Ugas feels like destiny is within his grasp. Pacquiao feels as if victory should be his. Jinky Pacquiao, nervous indeed. There is the girlfriend of Yoda Dennis Ugas. What a fight. And your Dennis Ugas with Ismail Salas, his trainer, they go over to Manny Pacquiao, they embrace. Manny Pacquiao there with Boo Boy Fernandez. And the feeling here that I am experiencing. About 116 to 112, all three in favor of the winner, and still champion, Jordanis Ugas. So Jordanis Ugas gets the upset victory over Manny Pacquiao as he hands Pacquiao the eighth professional loss. What a monumental moment.